Welcome back, I'm Lorenzo, and this week I dressed up as my Pinterest inspiration. I did this for several reasons. One, I wanted to see, are these outfits even wearable? Like, what, am I pinning just a dream or am I pinning something that can actually be my life? Two, I wanted to see if the outfits were actually good for my body. Most of the outfit inspiration I see are on people who have more of a body like a model, so long and lean and not necessarily curvy. As a size 10, that's not the most relatable to my actual circumstances. So I wanted to see if the same silhouettes and ideas would work for a body like mine. And third, I did want to see kind of the concept of having your outfits planned for you ahead of time. I picked out most of my inspiration ahead of time, had the kind of corresponding clothing pieces with them. So I already knew what I was going to wear. I just had to pick what I wanted to wear for that day. So I had my seven options already laid out, exact pieces of what I would be wearing, and then chose the outfit for the day based on what I had to do that day. Most of these days I was just working, so something comfortable enough to sit at a desk in. But I did go to a symphony, so there was a more special occasion kind of night. And I tried to pick at least some kind of variety for the inspiration, and I was also trying to pick outfits that I knew I had the clothing pieces for. So uh, let's get into the days that I wore the outfits. I'll put that footage here and then I'll talk about kind of like my lasting feelings from this little mini project. Okay, I am going out to a symphony tonight with my friends. So I thought this would be a good outfit for that. So I have a tank top with my silk slip skirt and then a white blazer oversized i do wish that the button started here i just feel like that would look better i wonder if i could even obviously not tonight but maybe in the future i can add a buttonhole somehow i might have to go to a tailor to do that and then add a button i feel like the blazer proportions would be so much better if i did but at any rate it's this and I'm leaving it open. It's kind of warm tonight, which is odd. I'm kind of sweating, honestly, but yeah, this is gonna be it. And then uh, she wore her little tiny heels, which I think is adorable, but I need to be able to like walk around, <laughs> you know, a little bit. My feet hurt today, so I'm gonna be wearing my black Oxfords with the socks and I might push the socks down, but that's what this look is. A very like minimal makeup got my engagement ring and wedding ring on to add some bling and i got my silver dome ring which i really like and then very simple earrings i feel very comfortable in this um easy chic is what i'm calling this i don't know if it's like the most flattering thing but i tend to look good in a little bit more dramatic things so this fits that drama but the blazer is not cut the way I want, but alas. Anyway, gonna go. All right, next um, Pinterest outfit. I am working from home today, so I thought one of the jean options would be good. So I chose this one, which is, this is my navy linen top from Quince. And then I have these wide leg jeans that I recently got from Lee. I wouldn't normally wear silver flats at home. I just wanted to see it all together, um, but I'm wearing slippers because I'm inside, so. This is a very comfortable outfit, and I think I mostly picked this one because I wanted to see how people style silver flats. And I think with blues, like you really just like can't go wrong. It just adds that little bit of shine, which I like. And then since I'm just working from home again, I just have very simple silver jewelry on just like an emerald necklace and then some hoops. So yeah, very wearable. My inspo was mostly like a long navy trench and I have one of those and I would definitely wear that outside. I think it would absolutely go with this outfit. You know, I'm just gonna go grab it so you can see the full effect. Okay, with the navy trench, I'd probably tie it up honestly if it was a colder day, but just very easy simple cute 
The girl's wearing slightly different jeans. Like hers are more of a straight fit than a wide fit. So there's a little bit of a difference there, but I don't have any straight leg jeans that go like all the way to the ground, which is what I really liked about this outfit. But yeah, it can just be tied up. And then I think I had a little black bag for this outfit. And yeah, that's it. Very, very comfortable. I can definitely see myself wearing this outside as a fit. Like everything's pretty loose, <laughs> which is why I picked it for a work from home <laughs> outfit. Okay, next day, next outfit. I chose this one because it looked pretty relaxed, but still had the, you know, business formal kind of elements. The image has, I think she has a larger white shirt, but I got rid of mine because it just looked so bad on me. Um, so I just have this one that's like just slightly oversized. And I tried to button it in the same way that she did. I even have my hair kind of similar to what she's doing to just like have the full effect there. And I have very similar pieces to what she has. Like almost the same colored trousers. I can't really see her shoes, but I put on white sneakers because I just thought that would work. It looks like from the little bit I can see, she has like tan leather shoes on. I don't have something like that, so it's gonna be sneakers for me. The problem I see with this outfit is that she's very stylized with the way her shirt is lying, right? And it's like, kind of pulled back but still loose and baggy and it's just like not a style that holds so even if I put on like a similar kind of tote it doesn't it's not gonna hold all day like it'll eventually just go back to what this looks like and I don't think that looks like particularly what I want so I would have to like tuck in the shirt in some way to achieve the style that she has and it's just like difficult to do that. So, I mean, I could do something like that on both sides, but it looks so much less organic, you know? Yeah, that doesn't look good. Like, I think it's just like a moment in time that was captured where her shirt was all like disheveled. Maybe her shirt is just so much more starchy and structured, whereas mine's soft, so it's not taking a certain form for too long. Regardless of the styling, um, in terms of wearability, like this is a basic white shirt, some basic trousers. Mine are a little fancy because they're vintage. They're silk trousers, so they're extremely comfortable and they drape really nicely. Um, but I mean, this could be achieved with kind of any wide leg beige trouser. Um, the tote bag, like I just got this tote. Um, very, I love it. Um, but like, Again, very accessible. And she doesn't have a lot of jewelry on. So like the only thing I could see was like one ring. So I put on my big chunky ring, but there's no earrings to be seen. And for me in a look like this, that uh, feels very naked. Like I would want earrings on. So I would probably put on some just like Baroque dangle pearls, but nothing too extravagant. Keeping with the simplicity of the outfit, I think they just add a little bit of sophistication so that I don't feel so undone with this outfit because even though I'm wearing like very businessy clothes, it's in a very slouchy way, especially paired with sneakers and like a very large tote. So the earrings I think do a lot. If I wanted to make them a little less feminine, I would probably just wear hoops. It's a little more understated, more casual, but it still helps the outfit feel more intentional instead of just like, I just woke up and had to put on whatever clothes I saw on the ground. So in terms of wearability, very wearable, very comfortable, especially with pairing with sneakers, like not gonna have an issue with any pain or discomfort in this outfit. In terms of my style, it's um, a little too, I don't know what to say, minimalist or modern? I don't know. One of those, it feels like I need to be a different person to make this work. Like, I don't suit this style. I don't know, something about the bright white for me is not working. It's just a little severe, 
even though it's casual. So like it doesn't fit into a casual vibe or like a severe polished professional. It's fine. It's just, it doesn't, I don't feel like I need something a little more feminine maybe. Maybe it's too masculine. I don't know. There's something about this shirt. Maybe it just isn't a good shirt for me that throws this all off. But I can easily wear this and I can easily wear this to multiple occasions. Like I can go to a friend's house. I can go to work. It's really wearable in that sense. It just, I can't see myself actually wearing this again. And if I wasn't like intentionally trying to do a copy of this. Okay, next day, next outfit. This one I thought was pretty, I have like those exact items. So it's pretty easy to do. Um, navy cashmere sweater, a black belt, and then cream jeans pretty easy um i have some black shoes that i could wear when i go out and a black bag and it's really simple i actually really like mixing black and navy together i think it looks nice i know there were rules that you're not supposed to do that but um just like don't really care about rules anymore so i felt that the outfit needed a little more so i did add a necklace because I don't know, I just like having some kind of length when I'm wearing like a crew neck or a turtleneck or something, so that was good. And I added just some basic studs, a little line of sterling silver. And yeah, this is an extremely comfortable outfit. <laughs> like, this is like a go-to kind of color palette for me as well, so I feel pretty good about that. I have my slippers on, but if I were to go outside, I'd just put on my black loafers and I think it'd be a very chic, easy look. This one is 100% wearable. I could wear this to work, I feel like, because of the neutral colors. Um, even though I'm wearing jeans, I feel like they're more elevated because they're not blue, they're a cream. So I think that looks good. And again, just like very minimalist neutral put together but still has enough flair for me for it to be an interesting outfit so yeah this is a good one all right another day this outfit is the one that looks like the easiest for me to make i would say the only difference in the pieces that my pieces that i have like my shirt and my pants are more form-fitted than the reference picture pants were baggier. It looks like the shirt was also like just loose and untucked. I will try that when I style it with a jacket, but for now I just always tuck in my shirts into my high-waisted pants, so that's how I would normally style it. Um, This is it just at home. I'm just chilling at home right now, but I'll go put on the other accessories so you can kind of see the full look. So the reference picture also has a cropped leather jacket. Um, This is the one that I had that looked the most like that jacket, so I want this. The silhouette changes things, I think, a little bit. So having an untucked shirt doesn't really make sense because the reference had the shirt coming out from underneath the jacket, which I think just looks, it's just like a different look, you know? Um, so I would definitely tuck this shirt in, personally. Uh, and then I don't have the same like color bag I think that's crazy. Like with all of these, it's like, it's crazy if I have the piece, like exactly. So I just have my version of a leather tote, which is much lighter, but it gives the similar vibes. I think mine's much more of a tote shape and theirs is maybe more of a satchel. They have a thicker strap. Regardless, I like the color combination going on. I love a brown with a navy. I think that's really pretty. And then, okay, it looks like the boots or shoes that she's wearing match the leather jacket. I don't have that. I guess I could wear either a lighter boot or these boots, but I think these boots work best. These are little burgundy booties. And while they're not the same color, I think it adds something nice to this outfit. I don't know if I love the color of this light bag with this outfit. It's not like my favorite thing in the world especially with this oversized style of jacket. I think it just looks a little odd. So I'm gonna trade out the bag, just personally. I've traded for my burgundy like side strappy bag 
it now matches my shoes, which I don't need. I could have gone without, like, I don't need to be matching is what I'm saying. But I do think it looks a little more cohesive now. I think the light, light tan was too, I don't know, too stark. And also it laid so flat against my coat and having the two leathers lay flat together just looked so weird to me. So I think this outfit's more wearable now. And then personally, I'd probably just do the two top buttons, have it kind of open. It's definitely a different look because of the length of the coat, but I still like it. I'm not sure how I would change it at this point to be any different. I wanted to do something a little different. I've had a similar-ish outfit to this pinned. I didn't have like the same exact colors, but I tried to stick with the color palette even if the pieces weren't exactly right. My inspo has a pink jacket and a brown top. I have a brown jacket and a pink bag, so <laughs> we're trying here. I also wanted to do something a little different because all my other outfits were just so, so plain, minimalist, practical, and that's not like fully my style. That's kind of like my, what I fall back on for just dressing nice enough and being comfortable enough, but that's not really like my style. This outfit is a lot more my style. <laughs> um, I have been loving these like long kind of pencil-y skirts and I recently found this one at the thrift store. It's a Everlane. It's like a maxi pencil skirt. I don't know exactly what they called it, but it has a long slit in the back. Makes it easy to walk. It's also a very comfortable cotton skirt. So skirt already is very comfortable. And then of course this Inspo had a suede jacket, and this is my suede jacket. And honestly, though, I really love the pink one. The pink suede jacket is so gorgeous for spring, I think. I guess you could wear it for multiple seasons, but that Inspo little picture is just so spring to me. We're in fall, though, so it's a little chilly. It's This needs to be a warm fall day or like an event where I'm inside. And then for shoes, I have my silver flats. The picture had like a low heel, silver low heel. I only have a silver flat or a really, really chunky, really high heel that were my wedding shoes. And I did try them on with this and it looks insane. So not gonna wear those. Also, they're not comfortable. These are comfortable. I could wear them on a daily, you know? And then the other stunning thing about the inspo was a huge chunky beaded necklace. Again, I don't have that, but my chunkiest necklace is this pearl necklace, and I think it's gorgeous. I love the gray pearl with, of course, the silver flats. They, like, bookend each other. Um, and then I have a little party bag to bring in some pink because I think it needs it. I loved the pink in the inspo, and this is the only way I could think to incorporate some pink. Overall, this is my favorite outfit to look at. I love it. It's gorgeous. It is the most like my style. It's got some minimalist clean lines, but some fun to it. And that's what I really like. But I don't think I could wear this outside. I can wear this because I'm working from home. I think I would have to switch out this for a sweater though, because you know, a jacket is only so comfortable. It just feels weird to wear it inside. Other than that, it's very wearable. It's just a little chilly, you know? It's a little cold. My house is 65 degrees, so I need to dress for that. So I did want to see if I could make it a warmer outfit in terms of the weather. And it's very fun. <laughs> Um, it's still very light colors, so I don't know. I'd have to wear, like, a long coat with this, I think, as, like, the final layer. But put a huge sweater on top. Kept with the same kind of color palette. Added the silver belt because we don't really have a lot of punching silver tones anymore. Um, added a very long necklace, just a simple silver one. Added <laughs> this bangle which I've been liking wearing it over a sweater because it is a little large for my wrist. I'm keeping the cutie bag and then I swapped for knee-high boots. So well, way warmer, um, similar style, right? Do you see the vision? I don't know. 
It's so much more of a fun outfit though, and it's so much more exciting to wear than just like the everyday blue, black, white, which is hilarious because last year that's all I wanted to wear is just like neutrals and that's it. But this year I don't. I want to wear stuff that's a little more romantic, a little more fun. And yeah, just a little more complex than the minimalist, rather masculine outfits that I wanted to wear last year. I don't know if that's that's probably just because that's how I vibe. I, I will really go one direction and then the other. And then I it's like a pendulum. I swing back between very masculine minimalist outfits to fun, girly, more, you know, elaborate outfits. And that's why I'm not getting rid of either of those categories because I like to play in both. So, yeah, I think this is a fun winterized or at least cold weatherized version of the outfit that I was inspired by. Okay, final day, Pinterest outfits. I don't know that I'm loving this one. I really wanted to wear this new cardigan that I got. It's very tight though, you know? It's not, my cardigan is not as cropped as theirs. I think theirs comes up more to where the waistband is. Also, my pants are way more high-waisted than what they have. They have more mid-rise. This is as close as I could get. I really wanted to do a wide leg because I think a wide leg with a skinny, tiny little cardigan is good proportions. Um, is good proportions. That doesn't make sense. But hopefully you know what I mean. I liked the proportions of skinny top, wide leg bottom. Um, I put some flats with this because I feel like you need a little elongation on the feet if you're wearing more wide leg pants. I think the proportions are still wrong. This needs to be cropped if I'm going to make this work. And I think because this is such a thin sweater, it's not loving like being just buttoned here because the inside is flipping out. Maybe I could stitch it down so it doesn't do that, but I think it would do it regardless. At any rate, this would have a tiny little bag per inspo. And that looks good, I think. Like the height of where it's landing, like right at my waist, is good. I just need like the cardigan to be in a similar place and then they would really elongate my legs which is what I would be wanting so I think I'm actually going to just button this all the way up and then tuck it into my jeans okay we're tucked and belted I think the proportions look a lot better for what I have because now the cardigan is in a good spot I feel like with the pants don't always love a crew neck on me this like just completely covers I don't know. I like having my collarbone out for most outfits, so I think I'm actually gonna unbutton it a little. That, I think, looks a little better. On my body, anyway. Yeah, I like this. It's essentially just wearing the cardigan more as a, like, long sleeve t-shirt instead of a layer, but I like the dimension it adds. I like having the ability to open it up, and I love it with a wide leg, so... I think this is good. I just can't wear it the way that they styled it. My takeaways from this. One is most of the outfits I used as my inspiration were so minimalist and they're practical and <laughs> they are totally fine outfits, but they're boring for me right now. If you watched my videos like in the last year, a lot of what I was wanting to wear was more minimalist things. I was wanting to wear like navy, black, and white, and just kind of that. And I was into more masculine or unisex styling and kind of rejecting the majority of like feminine accoutrement. <laughs> I don't know. Just feminine style. Which, in the last few months, I've been a lot more drawn to a feminine style. I personally know that I go back and forth with what I like to wear. I like to wear a lot of color, I like to wear feminine styles, I like to wear dresses, skirts, look very feminine. And then I'll go into a period of when I want to wear very minimalist clothing, limited colors, more masculine tones. and. That kind of going back and forth, changing my mind is 
kind of correlated to an idea of wanting to have a large wardrobe with lots of things to play with and ways to style things and then going into wanting a minimalist wardrobe with like no clothes. <laughs> so I've learned from that that I just like hold on to everything and instead I'll just like switch out the things that I'm wanting to wear as like my main closet and then everything else gets put into the other side of the closet that I don't open as much so it helps me feel like I have a manageable amount of clothes while still keeping the ability to go back and forth between those two different parts of my style. So when I pinned that inspiration, I was into the more minimalist, easy, unisex kind of styling, whereas now I feel like that's boring. So a lot of the outfits felt, you know, boring, unfinished, just not really making me sparkle in any way, not making me excited. Pretty much the only ones that made me excited were the um, two skirt options. So when I wore to the symphony, I did like that outfit. It's still minimalist in coloring, but it's quite feminine in its shapes. And then the other skirt outfit that I wore, the pencil skirt with the suede jacket, and that one was very exciting to me. That's very aligned with what I'm interested in right now. It's still minimalist in like the shapes and stuff. It's just adding more color and fun with accessories. Even today's outfit, which is my last day of the challenge, it's definitely more in the kind of basic minimalist style, but because I have this like bright fun color, it feels more like a blend between the two things that I've been drawn to. My least favorite outfit from this week was the gold trousers with white button-up shirt. I really like the inspiration picture. I think it looks really awesome, but on my body, I hated it. I hated the bu white button-up. I think I'm just not a white button-up person. I've kept it because it's a closet basic and you're supposed to have one and there's so many ways you can wear it. So it's super versatile. It's just when I wear it on its own in any styling, it looks bad. I'm considering still keeping it just to wear it under sweaters as like a collar, but even then, like I never, I almost never wear that style. So I should probably just part with it because I don't know that I will ever feel good in it. I, every time I wear it, it feels like wearing like a lab coat. Like it just doesn't suit me. I have a cream silk button up and that one suits my body so much more. It's much more liquid, flexible, and the color I think suits my skin tone. I don't feel like I'm putting on a costume. It just feels like normal clothes. So I do have an alternative that I actually like. So I think I can just get rid of that white button up. I like the idea of that outfit with the, the gold trousers. Like I love those trousers, don't get me wrong. I love everything else about the outfit. I just hated the white button up. So if I just like swapped that for like one of my green button ups or for that cream button up, it would work so much better for me. I would want to put more accessories on though, like something bold in a necklace or something, maybe a bold earring, something to make it more me. Because I'm not like that clean girl aesthetic. I'm just not. I need a touch of something that's like weird or colorful or vintage, just something that's more my personality. One other thing with these outfits is that they're all styled for being like outside and some days I didn't go outside. Most of the days, as I said, I was just working at a desk, so it felt like maybe it wasn't the best representation of these outfits because I wasn't going to wear shoes inside and I didn't need a purse, so I pretty much just wore the core outfit on its own with slippers. So that is something to think about if you are interested in doing something like this. Like, Think about your life, like you're not going to be wearing shoes if you're inside all day. So how do you keep interest in the outfit without having those more outerwear accessories like a coat, like shoes, like a purse? I think maybe that's also where I felt like the outfits were boring is because, you know, in my house, at my desk, I'm wearing the top and the bottom and that's kind of it. So I did want to accessorize more with jewelry. I will say what I did really like about doing this is that I had planned outfits. I didn't have to think about what I was going to wear that morning when maybe I was like running late or just didn't really feel like wearing clothes, you know, just wanted to wear cozy clothes. So it was nice to have motivation for one, wearing like a real complete outfit and then two, not having to think about it. 
and knowing that it would look good or at least good enough to be presentable. It gave me more energy too when I was working from home. Like feeling more put together made me feel more energetic. Whereas like keeping lounge clothes on all day, while that's like fine and it's comfortable, it just didn't make me feel like, I don't know, peppy. <laughs> I'm really glad I did this challenge, but I think if I were to do this next time, I would want to pick outfits that are a lot more complex, a lot of different things going on, experimental more. I only did that like twice in this week, so this it was a stark difference between the outfits that I felt excited to wear and then the outfits that I felt like were boring, so. Also, it really helped me realize how different I'm wanting to wear clothes now than what I was wanting to wear like a year ago when I originally pinned these outfits. So I might want to do some more exploring and more pinning and looking at things, I don't know, just having more diverse and <laughs> interesting inspiration to pull from. Because at this point I know how to make a minimalist basic outfit, like that is easy. My last thought with this was I tend to rewear outfits multiple times, like a couple days in a row, with maybe a few tweaks here or there, but I'll generally wear the same pants for like a week. Like I might change the top out, like add a sweater or something like that, but I'll generally wear the same outfit for like two to three days in a row. And so I wasn't doing that with this. So it did kind of stress me out a little bit because I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm making so much laundry. Like some of these things, like close fitted tops, I only wear once because I'm sweating throughout the day and moving and you know it the clothes just don't last more than a day especially like a t-shirt so I'm going and wearing all these different outfits and I'm I don't know I'm worried about how much laundry I'm creating so if I were to like really move forward with something like this where I'm outfit planning I might only give myself like three outfits for a week instead of one for every single day let me know if you plan your outfits or you've done something similar I'm curious to know how it works for other people especially people with like different jobs like you're in person every single day or you have a very active lifestyle just like would be interesting to know if you like this video, please like and subscribe. I make videos every week about fashion, style, thrifting, so if you're into that, try sticking around. Hope you all have a fabulous day, and I'll see you next week with another video. Cheers!